the next most important part is static iv characteristics of scr the expected question is draw steady state iv that is current voltage characteristics of scr explain the parameters il is that is latching latching current holding current then vbo that is uh, 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 offset breakdown voltage uh, then vbr breakdown voltage and show them on the characteristics this is the characteristics i will explain you what uh, uh, information you need to write from the exam point of view this is the earlier diagram we have already discussed there are three junctions j1 j2 and j3 now first there are three modes of operations first mode of operation is reverse blocking mode i am talking about this mode reverse blocking mode now in case of reverse blocking mode as shown in this diagram the anode is made negative compared to the cathode positive is connected to the cathode anode is made negative and i have not applied the gate current then in such cases actually there are three junctions so the structure acts as as if there are three diodes so first look at this diode which is uh, between junction j1 it is pn junction but p is connected to negative terminal so this diode containing uh, j1 junction acts as reverse bias diode similarly this n this is third diode which is having pn junction junction is j3 n is connected to positive terminal so it is again reverse bias whereas the middle diode middle diode is made from np here n is connected to negative and p is connected to positive so middle diode is forward biased that means three diodes are there having junction j1 j2 j3 out of that due to this connection when anode is connected to negative and cathode is connected to positive the first diode let us say d1 is and uh, third diode that is d3 are reverse biased whereas middle diode that is d2 is forward biased in such cases very small amount of leakage current flows it is very small but there is one particular voltage that is known as vbr reverse breakdown voltage if you increase this voltage beyond a certain limit then breakdown avalanche breakdown takes place due to avalanche breakdown suddenly the graph falls as shown in this diagram so vbr is the bare minimum value of uh, voltage which this Uh, structure can be stand if you increase it then there will be avalanche breakdown because of which excessive current starts flowing ideally if the voltage is less than vbr then the diode acts as a switch so this is the significance of vbr that is breakdown voltage and this particular mode is known as a reverse blocking mode as i said in case of reverse blocking mode if uh, you increase a vbr then it may damage the scr because of excessive heating the second region is forward blocking mode consider the reverse case uh, if i will apply positive connection to the anode terminal and negative to the cathode terminal then initially from 0 to say point m from 0 to m very small amount of forward current flows it is known as the leakage current for rather forward leakage current this is very small current so the structure scr offers maximum impedance so even if it is in the forward mode it is basically scr is acting as a switch even if it it is in the forward mode due to small leakage current this switch acts as a open circuit once you will increase this voltage then in that case this point m once get shifted up to point n whenever this voltage is increased and the scr goes into the third mode that is known as forward conduction mode later on first as i said if you increase this voltage point m gets shifted to point n then as you go on increasing this voltage this point n may be anywhere along the line nk so line nk indicates the forward conduction mode the diode the rather scr is transferred from forward blocking mode to the forward conduction mode by applying the gate current or by increasing the voltage positive voltage between terminals anode and cathode that is between terminals a and k this term vbo is known as forward break over voltage break over voltage which is in the forward region so it is the minimum voltage after that i mean it is the minimum voltage applied between anode and cathode which is a forward voltage after that 
the mode changes from forward blocking mode to the forward conduction mode. Now there are another two important parameters. One is latching current and another is holding current. The latching current IL is the minimum anode current which SCR must attain during turn on process to maintain the condition. So it is the minimum current in order to maintain the condition for the SCR. Next is IH that is the holding current. It is the minimum anode current below which SCR is turned off. That means if we want to maintain the holding current, I mean if the current, uh, this holding current IH is below this value, then SCR will be turned off. Actually this axis is the anode voltage axis and this axis is the anode current axis. So this is the static IV characteristics of SCR which is the most most important part. I have already explained all the important parameters related to this value. So dear students, that's it for today's session. Thank you. Thanks a lot.